Hello! So I'm going to try to answer these questions again. Let's hope it works this time. I have not been successful thus far. So, um, a line that connects came out in towards the end of August. It's almost completely sold out. There's um, a few remaining copies at project.com. Look, the shadow makes me look like I have a unibrow. That's kind of funny. Um, anyways, so um, you can go to project.com to get the last remaining physical copies. Of course, you can still download it um, forever. And we also still have the single um, with Black Mare um, of Silverleaf and Low Crimes. And you can get that um, at Magic Bullet or at hellomerch.com where we also have t-shirts and you can get my books there and signed copies and t-shirts and you can bundle everything and you can also check out handmadebirds.com to get um, quiet moments and a line that connects and I think I covered everything oh you can go to amazon.com to download my books so that's all the sales crud that I'm going to discuss. So let us get to our questions and I'm probably going to do these um, um, in smaller segments just in case there's a problem. Which there probably will be because that's the way things have been going lately. So anyways with no further delay, question number one. Sean Terry says, the end of Monday is here had me double checking the booklet to see who the, elite, who the guest drummer was. Is that really just clever drum programming? Seriously? Surely not an old Elisis. Um, I asked, actually I asked Dave this question the other day because I don't know the answer to it because I don't program the drums and uh, Dave, uh, Mike I don't believe did use the Elisis and Dave uses like triggers and his computer to do the drum programming. So, no, it was not the old Elisis. However, Mike does still use that old Elisis. He hasn't bought a new drum machine since like 1998 or something. I don't know. So, we don't have a drummer. Never have. Probably never will. No need for it, I guess. So, the next question, Nick asks love the album where can we find the written lyrics to all the songs so the written lyrics come on the CD and you can also get them with the download so uh, that's where you get them but I also just um, I posted them on our Facebook page recently so you can get them all there too thanks to the question Fernando says, amazing album, when appears the album again? When, when appear out again the album? I'm not sure what this means. I don't know if you mean if when's the next album coming out? If that's the case, um, Mike has literally zero plans to um, record anything for a long time. I think he told me the other day that it will be at least, he won't even start thinking about something until like summer of next year. Um, of course things change, but as of right now, that's his plan. If you're not asking that and you're asking maybe when they're going to be reissued, if these ones run out, the answer is never. Um, the 500 copies are it, and there will not be in any more. Theo says, Outstanding album. It flows beautifully while remaining musically diverse from one song to the next. What made the production of a line that connects different from prior releases? Um, I think it's just because Dave's involved again, and of course, whenever you work with different people, things are going to be different. Um... Dave records differently than Mike does, and um, so it creates different um, effects and whatnot. They use different equipment. They use different recording equipment. So they're just the different styles um, meshed together. And also because I feel like this album was very much kind of like... Um, 
reminiscent in a way of like Burning Circle. So, um, I don't know, I guess just a different, different recording, different people, different time, everything's changes and, um, I guess that's my answer. Kind of a boring answer, but it's an answer. Tosh, can this album be, how can this album be so good after so little time passed from the previous one? Answer me. No, but seriously, I've got no question left. Your previous video answered all my questions and doubts. Doubts? Doubts about what? Um, I've got more. A question about my t-shirt. We already talked about that privately. Um, thank you, Lycia, for existing and making this world a better place. Grin emoticon. So, I know you have more questions because I've gone over this many times, but I just wanted to say thank you for thinking that we make the world a better place. Um, that would be the goal, as opposed to making it a worse place. And so, thank you for saying that. I would rather be making the world a better place than a worse place. Some days, maybe I don't, but I try. And on that note, I'm going to end right here to get ready for the next segment. Bye.